NewEnglandRolls.com here with CSU Pueblo baseball coach Stan Sanchez following a 5-3 victory in game two of this uh, two games doubleheader against Connor Myers. Talk about what this win and what it means for you guys. Well, number one, they had won nine in a row and they beat us 8-7 in game one and we didn't, we broke down defensively, it hurt us, uh, but we did break down and they took advantage in game one. But the story in game two is Cam Weinberg. Pitch great. I mean, he had. I mean, he, he controlled them, uh, gave us a, a, a great chance, and then when we had the uh, lightning uh, delay, uh, he bulldogged it up, man. We, he wanted the ball, and heck, he had to wait an hour before he had to throw again, and he went out there and dealt. So that was huge, and then we got a great swing from Taylor Schneider that obviously put us up. Cam was able to finish it. Now, what was kind of the thought process during that delay in putting him back out there? Well, it's usually the pitcher's decision, and you know, obviously, you want to see a pitcher step up and want the ball and do that. Of course, you know, when we're all we're concerned about is his arm, making sure he's not going to hurt himself. And he, he right away, he went out and. Looked like his stuff was good. Uh, Coach Williams looked at him in the bullpen and thought he was fine. But we had Jorge Bredenegas ready to go in case something happened. So, But he fought through it. It was good to see him fight through it. Now, you guys uh, showed some toughness today. You guys were down 8-2, to two, rallied to 8-7 to seven in that first game. Just talk a bit about you know, what that did for you guys going into game two. Well, we, we came up short, but we, we, we seem to finish late. We've always been a team that never quits, and there's always a lot of fight with them, and they always find ways to get back in. Uh, that's who we are. Our personality is, is about uh, that. So they showed signs of their resiliency because they are very, extremely resilient. So real happy about that. I, uh, Hopefully we can get back in here and uh, get a couple from them because they're a tough club. They're, they're playing unbelievable right now. Uh, so I'm happy for uh, us to bounce back that way. Now, got a couple more games scheduled against them. If you guys don't get those in, will you guys be able to make them up? I don't think so. I think our conference gives us a three-day window. You can play on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you don't get them in, you lose them. And, so obviously, you know, uh, hopefully Mother Nature will cooperate and give us a chance to play ball. Yeah, you guys got the split with them. What does that do for you guys going forward? Well, we're 16 and 6, and they're 16 and 6 in conference. So, uh, heck, we're right there. We're, we're still leading our division, which is good because it's important to, to get for seed purposes. <laughs> Because if we win our division, then that means we'll be the number two seed. So that in a, in the tournament. So that's that's big for us. So, but they're a good club. They're playing extremely well. Uh, hopefully, we'll come out and, and, and really uh, put all three areas of the game together.